what is going on investors welcome back to the channel everyone happy friday hope everyone is finishing off a great week of trading let me know how you did down in the comments below but guys in today's video we're going to be talking about three stocks plus one bonus stock that i think are absolutely no brainers i think these stocks are pretty much game over i personally think they will succeed at some point in the near future now i can't promise that will be tomorrow i can't promise it will be next week but what i can tell you that is that we have made money off of all of these stocks in various times over the last one year both swing trading and holding long term and i do believe there is so much in store for these stocks coming up in the future so guys if that sounds interesting and you're ready to learn about these three stocks make sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on those bell notifications so you never miss an important video just like this one also guys real quick make sure to check out the link in the description to mumu if you are looking for a non-pfof brokerage that also has some otc stocks right now they have an absolutely ridiculous deal you can get up to five free stocks valued all the way up to $3,500, not total, but each five free stocks valued all the way up to $3,500 a piece. Make sure and check out that link in the description below. Getting into the first stock of today's video though, a retail investor's absolute favorite. This is Palantir Technologies, ticker symbol PLTR. So obviously guys, over the past five days, Palantir has been going down and down and down, down about 10% over the last five days for a very specific reason. Personally, this is getting to my buy zone. We talk about around $20 per share or even under $20 per share for Palantir. That is when I pick up some of these shares and I ride it all the way back up to the top while also keeping some in my long-term bag. Listen to this right here. It says, how and why investors should buy the dip in Palantir stock. So obviously, as we just said, it has sank over 10% following the release of its third quarter results on November 9th. The crazy part is when you dig into it, they had a very, very good good earnings call. Investors just weren't completely happy, so the stock went down dramatically. This is the time when you buy the dip on your favorite companies after earnings when they have a completely overreaction of a sell-off. But as you guys can see here, it says, according to research, the global big data market will see a growth of over $247 billion at an 18% compound annual growth rate during the period of 2021 all the way to 2025. We also see other companies saying that their AI budgets are increasing from 500,000 to 5 million per year, which is up over 55%. There's pretty much no arguing that there is a place for artificial intelligence and Palantir's company in this growing world of technology. So it says here, investors should pay close attention to growth companies focusing on big data and analytics such as Palantir. As far as Q3 went for them, it went pretty well. As we can see, revenue grew 36% year over year to $392 billion. Additionally, adjusted net income came in at $82.1 million, which was up about 51% compared to the prior year. And looking ahead, the company anticipates revenue growth of 40% reaching $1.53 billion. However, investors were concerned about the slowdown in the growth of government contracts, which is one of the reasons that this sold off. And nevertheless, I think that is a very, very good sign. What they failed to highlight was that yes, government contracts are coming down, which I said a while ago, we want that to happen for this reason. The commercial side of things is going up and that is what matters. We have been now have a pretty good balance of government contracts and commercial contracts that are going to continue to grow on parallel paths. In addition, one thing that people never understand is Palantir's financial statements and we go over this every single quarter. Eventually one day people are going to realize what they do is they just take a look at that net income number. They see that they are net income negative, but they never actually dig into it. When you actually dig into it, everything around Palantir's bad looking financials really involves one word really involves three words which is stock based compensation and you have to look at two numbers for this one you can take a look at the net income and you can see why net income is negative it is because of that stock based compensation that's why one of my favorite numbers in financial statements is cash flow from operations on the cash flow statement take a look at that statement where you will not see stock based compensation because because it is not a cash activity and you will see without that palantir has a positive cash flow from operations this big stock-based compensation number is just what's making their net income look so bad, which don't worry, it is already slowing down and that number should pretty much go away or at least not have an effect anymore down the line. And you will see without that, Palantir has a positive cash flow from operations. This big stock-based compensation number is just what's making their net income look so bad, which don't worry, it is already slowing down and that number should pretty much go away or at least not have an effect anymore 
more down the line. That is just something that you have to read in between the lines and not just take a look at one number, which is heavily manipulated, which is net income. The other good thing with Palantir is that big money is flowing in. We can see institutional investors bought approximately 8.3% of Palantir's total shares outstanding in the last 13F filing cycle, which is insane. We know that this is retail investors paradise right here. Big investors, hedge funds, they do not believe in Palantir stock yet. Well, guess what? Once hedge funds, once Wall Street starts flooding into Palantir stock, that's when you're never going to see 20, 30, 40, $50 ever again. This is going to turn into an absolutely massive money or massive stock once big money starts flowing in. And as we can see, it is already starting. The reality of the situation is Palantir stock is just this right here. Of course, without a shout out to Motley Fool, but I do have to agree with this one statement. That is Palantir stock, bull versus bear. It is the bulls versus the bears right now with Palantir stock. And I do believe eventually the bulls are going to completely tear apart all of the bears as Palantir should eventually grow very, very substantially. Now, the next stock on today's list, I really wish I could give it to you guys as an ultra heavy buy rating. I'm going in heavy on this stock, but unfortunately I can't. This stock has grown so much. It is absolutely insane. And this is for that one guy that's been commenting on some random video from like six months ago that said, all your stock picks are going down. Well, take a look at Enphase here up at $270 per share. Wonder why he didn't comment on this video back in May when we talked about Enphase at $119 per share, per share which is well over 100% gains. Or how about when we talked about it again back here on May 30th when it was one. 43 and then once again when it was 180 on August 8th and I think we even talked about it when it was like 203 just a couple of weeks ago and let me just go on a little bit of a rant here one of the videos he commented on was the BNGO video and he said wow this stock's down 70% since you talked about it at $15 I did an update on it at $15 if you've been part of the channel for a long time we've been in this stock since $2.50 10 ish cents all the way down here and as you guys can see even now over all of these humps we are still up 111 percent on this play and you had many opportunities to take profits at four five six and seven x on this stock anyways though sorry for the rant guys end phase though is making serious serious gains so right now i am not buying any more of end phase stock i'm holding on this play and if you guys need to or want to it is definitely time to pull some profits on this play but they do have some big news that i want to share with you guys and also analyst price targets suggest that the stock could go way way higher than where it sits right now this is an absolutely huge piece of news for Enphase it says Enphase acquires EV charging company Clipper Creek it says the deal clears a path for Enphase to enter the EV charging market and offer bi-directional charging for vehicle to home and vehicle to grid applications scrolling down here we can see that Enphase said the acquisition would provide its distributors and installers with EV charging charging solutions to be sold alongside their already existing solar and battery systems. In addition to that, it said Ease and Faces entry into the EV sector, which I mean they are already in the clean energy sector, which is insane as, as in itself. Now they're going to get into the EV sector. I mean, this stock could go absolutely parabolic. They're in two of the hottest sectors right now in their margins, their cash flow. This company is just growing and growing like crazy. And also it says it is going to accelerate the company's plan to enable bi-directional charging capability for vehicle to home and vehicle to grid applications and it is also going to accelerate their stock price as this stock is probably going to continue to go up and up and up as we can see here from analysts this is a little bit misleading right here it says 261 dollars is their average price target but when you take a look that was all from a while ago 24 days and more if we stop right here and look at from the last three days all of these analysts reiterated their price targets and as we can see most analysts are still giving this a buy rating with anywhere from 290 some dollars all the way to over 315 dollar price target for the next 12 months so Enphase, although it is a very high level right now it is one to keep your eye on and of course i will be updating whenever this stock dips and there's a couple stocks like Enphase. as we can see here we're talking about lucid group we talked about this stock back at 24 dollars all the way back when it was 17 dollars as well now this stock is sitting way up at 52 dollars per share over 100 gains on this play once again i wish i could recommend buying this heavily but i was buying it heavily way back when it was 24 dollars per share i can't be buying it heavily now now is the time to take your profit
profits. There's others that are the same, just like ChargePoint up at $27 right now. We were buying this stock heavily under 20. That's when I always buy this stock is under $20 per share or right at 20. Ride it all the way up. I plan to pull profits somewhere in the 30s, always keeping that long-term bag. But some of these stocks are just hard to recommend actually going in heavy right now because they have run up so much. ChargePoint, not that much, but as far as Lucid and Enphase, those have run up well over 100% in just the last couple of months. However, there is one other stock here that I want to talk to you guys about, and that is NEO. NEO is one that has not seen all the growth that these other EV and clean energy stocks have seen, but nevertheless, it is coming. At least I believe it is coming. As we can see here, NEO is up, but overall, it's pretty much down over the last six months after it had its big rally well over $50 per share. So when is this stock going to see another big spike? Well, let's talk about NEO and let's go over some price targets from analysts. So as we can see, it says NEO stock electrifying Q3 results, and this is just the beginning. First off, they have upcoming catalysts, including the ET7 release and their Norway expansion. And this says here, I stand by my previous assessment that NEO shares could double in price in the next year. I agree with that as well. I'll put a squared on that statement because I also think that is a very realistic expectation. Scrolling down though, we can see it says by all means a good quarter. This is another company. They get absolutely crushed after their earnings call when they always absolutely destroyed. So as we can see, they reported their Q3 earnings. And as we can see, they beat earnings expectations by four cents. Also revenue increased by 128% year over year at a total of $1.52 or 1.52 billion and beating estimates by 50 million dollars it says the outlook for the fourth quarter overwhelmed investors neo expects deliveries of 23,000 to 25,000.5 which would be 40 percent growth year over year however though it says revenues for the next quarter are expected to stay more or less flat and this is where investors were were not thrilled they thought the guidance was not very good and that is why this stock had a sell-off well let me give you a little insight on Neo real quick. This is what they do. They seem to be making their expectations low quarter after quarter after quarter for their following quarters and years to come. They make those expectations low and every time they hit it, as we can see here, just like this quarter, they absolutely destroy their expectations. So just because they have such low expectations and what seems like low guidance does not mean this stock is not going to absolutely crush it for the next few quarters to come as I think they 100% will. This company is just getting started. They have more and more cars releasing they have expansion into europe just like norway and eventually they're going to be coming to here in the united states overall neo in my opinion is one of the best ev stocks you can invest in specifically now because it has not seen monster growth like lucid already has regardless though neo is one stock you most definitely want to keep your eye on in fact all of these stocks in today's video you need to keep your eye on let me know down in the comments below which stock is your favorite and which one you think has the most potential these are growth stocks not value plays these stocks are growing insanely as far as revenue goes and they are absolutely pure growth plays. So let me know what you think down in the comments below. And with that said, that is all I have for today's video, guys. If you enjoyed, make sure and subscribe to the channel. Turn on those bell notifications. Come join us in that Discord, of course. And as always, guys, I will see you in the next video.